Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oidi, and this is About the Top Secret. What am I going to run around and act like I'm some teeny bopper somewhere for somebody else's money? I make the money, man. I roll the nickels. The game is mine. I deal the cards. <laughs> This history of American crime. Oh, he corrupted that. Sunlight, my torch and burning. I am the beast I worship. I close my eyes and seize it. I clench my fists and feed it. I light my torch and burn it. I am the beast I worship. And I know you got my top and my boy of hell is burned. But I did not the time of taking past the point of no return. Not so long ago, a series of strange murders took place in the Victorian ghastly streets of London. The murder, famous yet unknown to this day, went by the pseudonym of Oh, would you look at this? It is said that the first murder was committed here. Her name was Marian Nichols, also known as Polly, a streetwalker in her 40s. She was found dead in Buckshaw, Whitechapel, at approximately a quarter fourth in the morning. She had been dead approximately 20 minutes when she was found. In the mortuary, they discovered that not only had her throat been cut, there was a great gash in her abdomen. The pseudonym of Jack the Ripper originated in a letter written by someone claiming to be the murderer that was disseminated in the media. And now, there was something quite interesting about this particular person, if we can say that of course. The only murders he committed were of street walkers in the streets of London, over here. It was not only the fact that the women were killed, they were also mutilated. It's like if he made sure that every part of the body should be hacked together. They were the first century serial murders to occur in a major town, a leading capital city, and to achieve international recognition. But what really fascinated people are not the murder themselves. It's more like the puzzle. Who did it and what possible reasons could he have to do such things? Now, there was one time when the river could have been cut. On the 8th of September, 1888, at then to 6 in the morning, the second victim was found she had been She had been kicked out of her nearby lodging house at midnight for not having the money she needed to pay for her bed. She expected to earn it. But Chloe didn't find that she was last seen alive at a quarter past five, negotiating with a client who was probably Jack the Ripper. <coughs> the throat had been cut. She was savagely mutilated, disemboweled, and her beans taken away. If ever the river was going to be caught, it was there. Because there was a man who lived next door who went out to his backyard to defecate, because that's what backyards were used for at that time. 
Anyways, he heard something hit the fence, and a woman's voice screaming, No! But the fence was only 1.5 meters high. If he only looked out to the fence, he would have seen Chapman being killed by the Ripper. The reason to these murders to this day is unknown, along with its order. Fortunately, we can be sure about something. Jack the Ripper is no longer around. We can say the world is a safer place now. Or is it? Jack the Ripper, the Phantom of the Death. Really don't know who he is. Maybe we'll never know. We'll keep speculating and asking ourselves questions for another hundred years. Thank you.